Have you ever had the compulsion to abuse a player on your own server with the admin rights you have? Well, you won't be fought with because it's nasty and stupid. But instead of this, I will show you how to use the admin comments and how to lead a server and which comments are very important if you are an admin. So, first of all, you of course need to have a server. Adference, I've showed you so often, so it should be burned in your head. But just to make sure, go to local data and search local data, make a new text document, and the only thing you will change is to add a small line. It's question sign, admin password, and you set the password you want. For example, pro or hamburgers, marshmallows, whatever comes to your mind. And you save it as a BAT data. .bat. Copy it and fit it into the binaries Win32 folder, paste it in, double click it and the server will load. The next thing that happens is that we see us in game. Well, I already joined the server, you know the order, you'll find it on the wiki and also in the description. First thing is you want to assess the admin mode and you do that by typing in admin login and your password. In our case, it's pro. Oops, it's not working. Why is that? Admin, login, and the password. There you go. So, check just said I'm the administrator. That worked out well. I'm just looking down at the trees. And first thing I want to do is to build something, but farming is boring and you need time for that. So, we will speed it up a bit, you know. And the order for that is to enable cheats. You can complete lines to, by hitting the tabulator. And yeah, we need resources, right? So we cheat, we hit cheat, and resources. This will give us 10,000 of all materials. But to craft something, of course, we need a blueprint. So we unlock all of them by typing in unlock all blueprints so we can craft everything possible in the game right now. Another thing, as you just have seen, is to to be a god, to be an immortal. And we won't get any damage by using cheat god. And what a god, an immortal, also can do is whatever he wants. I don't like the night. I don't like when it's dark. So I hit cheat, set time of day. And I'll choose it to be 12. So I say race sun. And it's like lunchtime. So this is about the cheat orders. If you are too tired to walk around, you simply can enlighten yourself by hitting cheat fly. You can fly with an impressive speed right now. And Yes, yeah, you see, I've showed you in the last video that there are secret places and there are some loot crates spawning on them. And as you see, it is worth to search for them because there is lots of resources up there. Like six crates in like no space. Bedouin. So this one is a Stargate. You can actually build it, but only whilst being an admin. Because, you know, I cheated all the resources and the star gate needs a collapsed star core. No enemy in the game in the game bursts it currently. So yeah, you could cheat it, but it has no use yet. It will be fixed and you... And you see, it's only the framework currently being up. Yeah, so that to the building. Another important order is the kick order. If someone is trolling your mates, if someone makes them mad, just punish him, give him some menace, he will learn. If not, kick ban him, and so he will never see the light of your server again. Don't use this orders to abuse some place because that is just naughty and stupid. Another thing you want to know is that you can force world events 
by hitting fourth world event and then the event you want. You see in the top right corner is slime attack. But I can change it to flying bug attack for example. There are only three world events currently available anyway. And it will be happening in like around one day. There are other orders like cause event but they're not yet working. Or ZE enable lens flare or whatever but they should be fixed somewhere soon. Well those are the most important orders. To come back to the floor you can hit cheat walk and that's the most important thing to know. In the next episode I will show you how the multi-tools work, the differences in speed, some weapons and their damage so you can see which weapons are in the game currently, the armors and how they are looking. And yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoy the video, leave some comments, likes, do whatever you want, but I enjoy playing to the fullest.